Welcome back to Choose 3 Animations Part 6. Today we'll be looking at I have millions but pretend to be a homeless person. This was a really amazing video. I really enjoyed reacting to it with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy some pretty questionable things and confusing things happened. As usual. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Jeeves, could you get me some soda? Hi, Jeeves I and from my butler. this guy. His name wasn't really Jeeves. I just called him that for fun. That's so yes, mean. Sir, he replied. Make me. Can you imagine someone not calling you by like your first name? Like you're working for somebody and they don't even know your first name. I just quit, to be honest. Give me a sandwich while you're at it, I said. He nodded and left. Having people refer yeah, he to me seems as like he's sir, a nice guy. Not, not him, Jeeves. Especially since I was only in is. my last year of middle school. My parents owned several luxury hotels in the South Pacific, and in addition to that, my mom was the heir to a massive family fortune. So he's they a rich kid by a massive. This kid is a rich kid by default. His mom has a huge ass fortune on her hands. And her dad owns like a chain of hotels. So he's obviously a rich kid by default. Probably born with this money. When his mom dies, all the money will be sent back to him. So he's a rich kid by default. Be a rich person when he grows up. Doesn't really matter for him. The fortune as well. Let's get this video to 50,000 likes. And everyone wait, wait. watching this video will be rich. Yeah, I swear. If this video gets really? 50,000 likes. So I, I guess you could say Probably I grew up like a I prince. Swear it will. Servants pampered me. And I had to do nothing for myself. My bedroom was the size of a middle-class family's house, and I'm not exaggerating. It had everything you could imagine. I had my own arcade, two televisions, a cotton you... candy machine. Why do you have two TVs in your room? You just need one TV for yourself. You know, wait, what's the other one for watching? Oh, one's for watching Netflix, and the other one's for watching my videos on YouTube. That's not fair. You just have one TV. It's easy as that. Basketball court, jacuzzi, and a section I like to call the zoo. It wasn't a real zoo, of course, but it was where I kept my exotic pets. Exotic a squirrel pets. monkey, royal exotic python, okay. Komodo dragon, and an ordinary poodle I called friend. You have a Komodo dragon, a royal python, a monkey, and a poodle. For what reason? Let's get, just have the poodle by itself. Why, why do you need all those other animals? They're not important. Frank. But apart from that, I was a regular kid. I liked video games, hanging out with my other rich friends, and playing sports especially football. The okay. best part okay. of my life was that my parents weren't overbearing or controlling. They wanted me to grow up into a self-sufficient, independent person. That meant they pretty much let me do whatever I wanted. So that doesn't seem like the best parenting move. Do whatever I felt like doing. One Saturday afternoon after football practice, I was walking around town with my friend Andy. We were feeling it's really like hungry running, after a way. pretty intense practice session, so we decided to stop at a 7-Eleven and grab a snack. As I left the building with a Slurpee the size of my head, an old man bumped into my shoulder and half of my drink spilled onto the pavement. Oh, hey, no. watch it, I said angrily. I'm sorry, he replied. I took a good look at him and realized that he was wearing dirty clothes and he looked like he hadn't showered in months. Oh, no. I haven't eaten all day. Do you have five dollars to spare? He asked me. Sure, I said while digging into my pocket. I handed him the money. I don't have anything to eat tomorrow either. Do you have any more cash to spare? He asked. I looked at Andy and we started laughing. Oh, Look, why are you man, laughing at him? I already gave you five dollars. That's enough, I said. You're a spoiled little brat and you will never understand what it's like to be a person like me. Mm. Homeless and abandoned by everyone. Oh, that's so You'll sad. never know what it's like to have nothing. He you guys, you should be giving to the, you should be giving back to the community, okay? We have some people in society who just who are just outcast people forget about them they don't have anything and we're here like i'm here in my setup i have my microphone my camera my monitors like i'm grateful for what i have but you guys i still try to give back to the community like there's a bunch of homeless people where i'm living i try to give back to them at least give them something at least but it's the right thing to do these guys they haven't done anything they don't have anything to do they don't have eat they don't have food they don't have homes hey, you guys should really give back to society okay that's that's a good life lesson good life lesson tip he screamed. As I sat alone in my room that night, I thought, hmm, my identity does not revolve around all this money. I'm pretty sure I'm strong enough to survive as a homeless person. No, you're Maybe not. I'll take this old man's yeah, words no, and use them as not, a challenge. Bro. I'm going to move away from my perfect life for a while. I just need a plan, I continued thinking. The next morning, I convinced my parents to send me to a private high school in France for one year. It was summer, and I was supposed to be going to an elite high school nearby in a few weeks. I explained that moving to France would be better for my development and independence. I'd also learn a new language. 
They agreed right away. Okay. Made you know the plans and bought the ticket. They have the I money to do it. They can do whatever they want, okay? In re I'm I'm gonna bet you guys. That let's play a game, okay? You you have to subscribe, like this video. If he doesn't make it to being a homeless person, because I know he won't. That means you'll have to subscribe, okay? You'll see. You'll see. Reality, I'd only be moving two towns away. I had already enrolled myself in a poorly funded high school there. Poorly funded. When it was time to leave, I pretended the that I was high all school. packed how, and ready to go to my funded? new school. My parents dropped me off at the airport, and as soon as they left, I took a bus to town. I found the old man I had bumped into a few weeks before and gave him my suitcase. You can have all this stuff. I don't need it, I said. And I was left with one backpack and fifty dollars. I got onto another bus and <laughs> marked on no my new trip make as a homeless okay. person. No way, when I arrived at my stop, no I got off the bus. Now what? I thought. I had no clue what I was supposed to be doing as a new homeless person, so I just walked around aimlessly for a few hours. I began to feel very tired, and it started to get dark, so I decided to sit at a table outside a cafe. A waitress came up to me and said. That looks Sir, like I'm sorry. This looks exactly like his mom. Do you think that story time animated just got a little bit lazy? You know, you know what? We have one woman. Let's just put it in this clip. We'll just say, you know, it's, it's just a waitress, okay? It's not his mom. But she looks exactly like his mom. But seats are reserved for paying customers only. I went in, bought a cup of hot chocolate, and went back outside. I only had $40 left. I don't know when it Why happened, would you try to I fell asleep and was woken up hours later by the same waitress. We're closing now. You have to leave, she said. I stood up, went across the street, and waited for them to pack up and leave. Afterwards, I went to sit on the That's floor a funny in front of the walk. cafe. I took out my phone and sent a message to my parents. Hey, I've arrived safely. France is great so far. We're happy for you. Have fun, they replied. This became my daily habit. I'd walk around the town and I'd find different places to freshen up. Libraries, restaurants, anywhere. I begged strangers for money to buy food, and when it was time to sleep, I'd just settle in front of the cafe. I was grateful on my first day of school because it meant I'd get to take a break from the same old routine every day. The school looked like it was falling apart, and the students there were certainly not the crowd I was used to. I found my first <laughs> class and sat down at the back. Wait, why are this they looking? The why are they all staring at him like that? It's so creepy. There were Look, they're all just the staring and smiling. They're like, that's so creepy. Why would you look at him like that? Crowd I was used to. I found my first class and sat down at the back. Pieces of the ceiling were falling off. There was terrible lighting, and the air conditioner didn't work. But those were the least. Yeah, these words. wind. You guys have windows, right? These wind. Why do you need AC? Everyone these wind. walked in, turned up their noses at me. That guy smells like a garbage truck, said one of my classmates. He pointed to me while his friends gathered around him and laughed. The teachers were no better. They were mean, harsh, and they all looked like they hated their jobs. <laughs> I was having the worst day ever. I sat in the cafeteria eating my lunch alone when a girl came and sat in front of me. Hi, I'm Melody, she said. I'm Melody. I'm Eric, I replied. Oh, now so he introduces himself. Eric, okay. Quick, quick tip, okay, Eric. All you've done here is just stupid, okay? You would have just, you know, given back to society like a normal person instead of just going and just... You had all this huge lifestyle. You lived in a big mansion. You, your, your mansion was the size, your bedroom was the size of my house, bro. And then, like, now you've decided to just go on the streets, tell your parents that you're actually in Paris. Why would you want to do this, okay? Just please think next time. Please think first before you leave. I'm sort of embarrassed to be talking to a girl in my condition. I've seen you some nights sleeping outside on the street. Are you homeless? They all look Where like his parents? mother. What's she wrong asked. with this animation? My parents died in a car accident, so I'm pretty much alone, I lied. Don't you have other relatives who could have taken you in? She yeah. asked. No, I replied. I'm sorry to hear about that. I really am, she said. That she sucks. looked really sincere. She slid a pink slip of paper into my hand, and then she left. I opened it, and it contained the directions to a homeless shelter. After school, I decided to head straight there as I was in desperate need of a shower. I also <laughs> wanted to sleep in a real bed and maybe change my clothes. At least I'd be clean for school the next day. It took me a while to find the shelter, but when I did, I knocked on the door and a kind old lady opened it. Hello? Can I help this you? This looks just she like asked. his mother with glasses now. Is this now? the homeless shelter? Jeez. I was wondering if I could stay tonight, I asked. I'm sorry, but we're full tonight. Try coming back tomorrow, she replied. Suddenly, I saw Melody appear behind her. What was she doing here? Marsha, it's okay, she said to the woman. 
Don't worry, Eric. You can stay in my room tonight. I'll sleep on the couch, she said. The old lady signaled yeah, for me to come room. in, and I heaved a sigh of relief. Melody, are you... But before I could finish, she explained. I'm homeless, too. I Aww. live here sometimes with my mom. This has been my life for the past ten years. Oh, no. I feel we so bad for Melody. We once had a happy home, but one day my father left and never came back. My mom couldn't afford the rent on her own, so we were forced to live on the streets. Until we found this place, she said. It's we amazing, really guys. It's amazing. That people actually had to endure this. For me, this was just an experiment. But for her, it was reality. I don't know. As the weeks went by, I made a deal with the owner of the home, Marsha. I could stay as long as I helped out around the home. She taught me how to cook, and before I knew it, preparing breakfast and dinner were my responsibilities. It was hilarious at first because I didn't even know how to use a stove. <laughs> I was also responsible for cleaning the bathrooms. This drove Marsha crazy at first because I had no idea what I was doing. I never did my own cleaning at home. Melody and I got closer as time went by. We'd sit next to each other at school and we'd spend almost every minute together. She was funny, kind, and very generous. She had a really beautiful heart and before I knew it, I was in love. When I expressed my feelings to her, she told me that she felt the same way. And Aww. that was the beginning of my, my first relationship. But the reality hung over my head. Soon, my one-year experiment would be over, and I'd have to tell her the truth. She had really fallen in love with a Oh, frog, no, there's and she no way she's going to like after this. About the real me. My problems increased when old Marsha sat with me one evening and said she had something serious to discuss with me. Eric, I'm happy you've come to stay here at the shelter and that I've been able to help you. You're continuing to grow into a remarkable young man, and I'm very proud of you. But I'm still sad that you are without a real family. And, well, I was wondering, how would you feel if I became your adoptive mother? She said. I was speechless. I mean, I know I could never replace your biological mother, but I'd hate to think of you oh, going no. through this life all alone. I just want you to know that I will always be here for you no matter what, she said. I decided that I'd have to tell her the truth Things took now. a turn for the worst for you, I Eric. I held her hands <laughs> and thanked her for being so kind and supportive. Then, I told her everything. Who I really was, where I came from, the fact that I had millions, and that this was only an experiment. I was so engrossed in my story that I didn't even realize that Melody was standing right behind us. Oh my god. When I noticed her, it was too late. She ran to her room upstairs and I quickly followed. Melody, listen, I'm so sorry, that I said. Sucks for I can't him, believe bro. you lied to me. Nothing I know about you is true, she said. What is true is how I feel about you. I never expected to come here thing to I've meet ever, you. That's the sappiest thing I've ever heard, guys. What's true is how I feel for Guys, okay. So you guys better subscribe because I love you guys. To end up like this. But all I know is that I really care about you, and I'd never, ever want to leave your side, even if it meant staying here forever. I don't need those millions like I need you. Oh my god. I said as I held her hands while looking that into was beautiful. her eyes. Melody eventually forgave me. My next hurdle was explaining the truth to my parents. They were surprised when I showed up suddenly with Melody and her mom by my side. Please stay with them, the please. Of my <laughs> and they were actually proud of me. My parents bought Melody and her mom a house close to ours wow, and decided that's to fund amazing. Melody's entire education. She wouldn't have to go to that awful school anymore. On weekends, we'd still go to volunteer oh, at the that's homeless amazing, shelter. Guys. My parents also donated a large sum of money, which helped the shelter to expand and house more people. Pretending to be homeless taught me that we all need each other to survive in this world. Mm -hmm. And that He's if right. we can He's help right, another person, we should. Mm. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you watch these videos right here. One is a playlist of choose more choose more animations you want to watch. One is a video specifically catered to you by the YouTube algorithm. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did. I loved watching these true story animations with you guys. That was a very beautiful story. So maybe you guys learned a lesson. I know I have. We we all need each other in this world, especially right now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.